do now to struggle once again with the live stream da, 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 da. constantly checking what is working da, 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 da. here's hoping the stream is not cursed da, 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 da. oh my god facebook stop being a pain in the ass and let me put you public Yes, I know my keyboard batteries are low. Thank you. Uh, Facebook is online. YouTube is online. Picard 2, just Twitch being a little slow. Plus, I'm alone in the house again today with the parasite. Oh, sound is great. Now if I could just mute it, that'd be nice before we start. Uh, there we go. And uh, Pierre just liked the stream on uh, Facebook. Thank you, Pierre. <sighs> Live studio. No setup required. Use your built-in webcam. Oh, no, please do not use my built-in webcam. Because, uh, fun fact... I can't use my built-in webcam, and it's not just because of the location where it is on my uh, Mac. Uh, even if my Mac is high, I used to be able to use that camera. Oh, there's a parasite again. But uh, ever since I got it fixed last time at Best Buy, they misaligned it. And there's like this big black void on the left side when I'm trying to film. So I had to buy a separate webcam. Even if technically it's not broken, it's just unusable. Long sigh. We are starting in two minutes. And uh, from what I'm seeing, I gotta follow before the street. Please lay down or something, sweetheart. Yeah, I... Ask my parents to be back in time for the stream, and they are not, and I am somehow not surprised at all. So yeah, I got a, a new follower about 21 minutes ago, so thank you, Charti... Chartinisan? Or Chartinisan, however you pronounce it. You're not lying as far as I know, so you'll correct me when you can. Uh, one minute before we start, and... Oh, it's struggling on Facebook, what are the odds? See, this is why, even if I multi-stream, I suggest my Twitch or my YouTube because I can't trust Facebook with jack shit. Yeah, I should have put another squeeze of a uh, syrup in this. It's a little watered down for my taste. Ah, oh, there we go. 1 p.m. We can start. Parasite is sitting in the stairs. Hoping I follow her upstairs, but I can't. I'm trying to work. And here are the rules. Oh, while I'm here, I'm going to start the music. Not too loud because I also like hearing myself when I talk. And today's empowering quote from uh, Pretzel.rocks is Watching Illustratrix feels better than being gifted a sub. Now think about that. And now to promptly ignore Facebook not working well. Because I'm not here for this kind of negativity. <coughs> oh yeah, I tend to burp. Because I eat right before the stream and I usually have a soda and yeah. So for those who are not used to it, I burp a lot. Also for those who are not used to it, I complain a lot and I curse a lot. So 
if you were hoping something super cute or family friendly, you ain't getting it here. I don't even know how many subscribers I got on Twitch. Do I have anybody watching right now on Twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a bot at this point. Oh, somebody's trying to be Pepper Steak. That's the battle music from uh, Off by Mortis Ghost. Okay. All right, super. So I'm gonna be nice. It's going to be another school story. Coco, welcome. Lily is upstairs right now because she's trying to coax me into going upstairs, so she might pee in the bathroom again. We're gonna have fun, I'm getting yelled at. Right after this, I gotta go check if uh, Lily had a revenge piss because she didn't take one earlier. She took her revenge uh, poop, but not a revenge piss. After that, I got a quick micro tutorial to film for uh, my patrons on Patreon.
Ah, just got a note from mom. They're coming back home. Uh. <sighs> sorry about that. <laughs> Get used to it, but still sorry about that. is horrible on Facebook and it's like super clear on Twitch and probably good on YouTube <laughs> I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna go get the. Now I'm gonna have a sip first because I'm thirsty. There we go. is home. Either that or Lily suddenly developed the ability to speak English. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't really be surprised Potat could speak French. <laughs> oh, well, there are two people on YouTube today. One of them is probably one of those fake account bots tingy that like to post some porn in the comments thinking I don't notice. Long sigh. Anyway, I was about to add the text. Yeah. Gotta change it back. Oh, hi, Paul! For those wondering, this is the Paul K that I keep mentioning at the end of my streams. Uh, he is an angel, and everybody give him the respect that he is due to him. I 
I don't know if you were there when I mentioned it earlier. Uh, I'm going to film the, uh, the little micro tutorial after this. <laughs> I'm definitely much cuter with the pump. Can you believe it uh, took like uh, three trips to different hairdressers to actually get it to a pump? Because I don't know if with hairdressers they're always like, yeah, but it's so nice when it's long. No, it's not nice. It's stringy, it's thin, it's nothing but split ends, and it keeps being touched by strangers. Cut it off. From the sound of things, uh, Lily just did her revenge pee. Or she managed to find more poop. <laughs> Mom is not thrilled. Then again, I think I'm being nice here because I'm pretty sure she didn't say please. Well, we're gonna see if her snip calms her down first and if it doesn't, then we're going to discuss uh, medical help. Because we know it's a conscious thing she does. Because at the minute the car is out of sight, she will either rush downstairs on my uh, bathroom rug to have her revenge poop and pee, or if I'm there and I catch her trying to do that, she will run back upstairs and do it in the upstairs bathroom. Ah, imp imposter nostalgia, no wonder. Do, 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 do. And here's the kicker here. Uh, this was my second time taking this class because I had failed it uh, in the first semester, so in the second semester, uh, I did it again. And this was during the short period of time where we had a failing tax. If you failed a class, you had to pay a fine. And then take the class again. This was not long lasting. 
Like it started when I started Sejep and then it ended not long after I quit. when I failed the first class of this I was like well it's probably my fault I didn't I didn't study I don't study basically so I'm just gonna try harder this time I mean that's what I thought originally until I caught my uh, video class teacher uh, fucking around with my uh, my exam. As you see, we had one of the exams was to uh, mount and this giant ass TV camera. So what would happen is we would each go into a, a room with the camera and the teacher and we were meant to mount the camera and explain each step as we go which I did and the first time I was like well it's likely that I forgot some steps or that I just didn't say the steps so I gotta be more careful this time around I know my pieces yeah more purple people So, the second time I did this exam, I made real sure I said out loud every single step of what I was doing. And it just so happened, once we came back in the class for the next um, student to go take their exam, I happened to glance on her papers and I saw my name. And I saw that she had completely uh, ignored, like, half of my answers. Like, they were not there. Some steps that I knew that I did, and that I told her, were not written down. So, I pretty much came to the conclusion that she was trying to fail me on purpose. So I was like, then what's the bloody point? So I dropped out. That's another thing, when we signed up for classes the summer prior, they decided to quote unquote renovate the art program I signed up for and change most of the class classes I had signed up for and therefore they did not exist. And I was stuck with video. and radio classes when I had no intention of learning about radio media that's another class I failed too and I was accused of uh, not checking like that was a long time ago I did not have access to a uh, DVD burner at the time that's how long it was. 
So I had to record the audio I needed, like an interview and some music, on a cassette. And the cassette player of the uh, little fake radio station that they had uh, was faulty and messed up my tape. But then we got accused of not making sure, well me and my partner at the time, of not making sure that our cassette uh, was working good and we lost points for being lazy. And which was a complete lie because we pretty much busted our ass, well I busted my ass, making sure everything sounded right before we started. Everybody else was able to burn a CD with their audio and stuff like that. We got penalized because neither of us had a DVD burner, CD burner. There's something I just can't stand, is being accused of something I didn't do. After all the work that I put into that frickin' audio, only to have it cock and cack out at the last minute, I was pretty insulted, to put it politely. And then after taking abuse from the radio teacher all this time and I finally quit. She had the face to tell my mom, oh, but she was about to pass her class. No, I wasn't. Don't feed my mom bullshit, come on. And you know what's the best part? That's part one. There's a part two coming up next week. This is one of many reasons why I say that I don't like school. That's not exactly true. I like learning. I do not like the social aspect of school because it was a freaking nightmare for me. can't focus long enough to study. But when I do want to learn something, I'm actually super good at retaining the information. Like, I've had time in math class where I would fight not to pass out. Because the abstract concepts would basically put me to sleep. And I could just not wrap my mind around most of it. But it's really 
It's really just a speed thing at this point, because then after I finally failed math in uh, grade 12, they put me in uh, adults' education in order for me to pass the uh, the classes that I failed so I would be allowed to go to the Sujet. But then what happened is that I had failed uh, French. Keep in mind I'm French. English is my second language, as if you couldn't tell by the accent. And I had failed French, I had failed uh, uh, physics, and I had failed uh, math. But the difference was, they gave me uh, workbooks that even if I had to attend class, I was able, I was allowed, I should say, to do them at my own speed. I was able to pass three classes that I failed in during one year of schooling under three months because I was allowed to go at my own speed. which apparently is much faster than what uh, teachers in uh, government-sanctioned class time assumed. Because that's another thing, I have to do things fast or else I lose interest, and if I lose interest then nothing will stick in that thick brain of mine. in class, the teacher gives one explanation, and you're ready to go. But you are not allowed to go until everybody understands. And by the time everybody understands, the first explanation went right out of your head. And it's not like you're gonna ask questions, because you remember, in second grades, you ask questions and you heard your teacher say, what the hell does she want again, her? So yeah, not a fan of school. Yeah, when even the teachers bully you for being smart, It's a big problem. Because you're thinking What's the point of uh, making an effort anyway, since everybody's going to hate me regardless? They keep saying I'm shit, so I must be shit. As demonstrated in this strip. Oh, Joel gave me a love on Facebook. Thank you, Joel. It's my Kazifude pen. I was wondering what that icon meant. <laughs> I'm forgetting my brush nibs. 
I used my Kazefude pen uh, recently for a logo design. <laughs> I don't know why I say mine, I didn't make it. But it's pretty easy to find in the uh, Clip Studio asset shop. And long story short, that's why I don't really want to teach kids. Well, not really like that. I mean in a school setting. Because if kids come up to me and ask me how to draw this or that, or how to fix something in the art, oh, I will talk their ears out, okay? If you want to learn to art, I will help you. But what I mean is, not in a class, or like as a special guest, and especially not locally. Because I always imagine myself, like if the school wants me to do a, a, pre a presentation or something, like, oh, this, uh, this girl studied here, so we would like to invite her and uh, talk about her success in front of the students. And then I would start talking and then they would just try to drag me off the stage because I'm doing nothing but cursing and giving shit to the whole concept of schooling. There's a thing though, I've, uh, like I said earlier, I'm going to uh, be filming a micro tutorial for my patrons. Because we're almost in September and I didn't do it yet. But I will. This is cute. Anyway. Maybe down the line I will compile them. But I don't think I will. Or make at least make them public. But for now they're Patreon only. Because if there's something that drives me nuts, is when you try to look for a tutorial and then the person that has a tutorial that you need starts telling the life of the software you're going to be using and how they were inspired to start filming tutorials and how the software inspired them to start filming <laughs> look I just want to know how to change the hue
If I'm here, I already know that clip is made by Celsius. That the company was founded and then you s you lost my interest. Scrub that timeline. And another thing, Bob Ross was calm, I am not. Oh, I gotta see this. Where's my mouse? Oh, my neck is a wee stiff. I'm glad I'm not filling my face. Oh my god, this is so slow. And I know it's not my router here, or... I know it's Facebook. There we go. Okay. Uh, we both got awesome here, so it's always that. Biceps blaster. Kinda sounds mega manish, kinda sounds cheetah manish. And this is the Undertale inspired album by Popsky. I gotta check out if it's supposed to be pronounced Popsky or Popsky. <laughs> If I ink all the panels, <laughs> dumbass. like 80 or at least 78 subscribers on YouTube Here's a funny one though. There was this really terrible teacher, well teacher, substitute teacher, and by substitute I mean she would not teach the subject and just made you 
sit down and do nothing for an hour. And 75 minutes, that's an hour and 15 minutes, right? Regardless. During the entire period. But, I was actually allowed to read books or draw while anybody else had to sit in perfect silence. And if they had homework, they were required to work on the homework. But the, like the problem is, most of the time, uh, she had to replace morning classes, so a lot of the other students didn't even have uh, homework yet. But I suspect I got away with it because one, I would usually sit like right in front of the teacher's desk to help myself see the blackboard better and focus on the lesson. See, at least I was trying. And the second thing is, the re- uh, I would call her ma'am. And I think because I was one of the rare ones that would call her ma'am instead of her less than flattering nickname, that endeared me to her. And that's how I managed to get away with reading. Like, everything I did was quiet, you know? So I got away with reading and drawing. Here's my secret. I did not know her real name until like five years after I graduated. I only knew her under her non-flattering nickname and I did not want to call her that. So it was just ma'am. She probably thought, oh, that girl is so nice, and no, I just don't know your name. And turn out her name was, uh, well, I'm using a fake name here, but you, you get the idea. Her name was like uh, Jane John. I was like, that's even funnier than her nickname. <laughs> it That was not a real name, but the same idea. Female name, exact same male name. Ooh, chili. Had some chicken popcorn for lunch myself. Not a lot of chili in this house. Not a lot of flavor in this house. Mother is not a big fan. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother pretend pretending I remember what the, the back of the camera looks like. I just know it was already outdated by the time we got it to study with, so. I was supposed to draw some more Cuban stories this month and I completely forgot. Better luck next summer, I guess.
really should have put more syrup in here. Ugh. I kind of like this. It kind of sounds that punkish. I clearly remember who this purple people is. Clearly remember. And it's not the first time she snaps at me for dumb reasons. Then later on she opened an art store, which had to close down. But that's neither here nor there. Like one time, we went to an exposition, an art exposition, and I say art exposition like really fast because to me it was not art. Like I could still let the artist get away with the tree planks of wood colored three different pastel colors. That has some effort put in, you know. You gotta choose the right hues and stuff like that. But then, in one room, he had 15 planks of wood dyed green, each with a different name, in frames. And I was like, and I cannot take you seriously at this point. You gotta be shitting me. Like, is this art, or is this a suggestion on what color to paint my patio this year? And my interest was completely gone, because usually our art. Like, let's take um, what's his name, Callan Scom, Callan Show, however it's pronounced. Him, what he does is that he'll twirl uh, buckets of paint over a canvas, and people are like, eh, "That's not art." That's no, 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 no. Callan's stuff is art. Okay, you can actually see the effort he puts in it. I can do that, well do it, okay? You try it. I know if I try it, it's not gonna come out as pretty as Caleb's. Callens, sorry. But like... When your art literally looks like samples from the- from home hardware... Maybe... Just maybe... It's not to my taste, to put it politely, you know? So, a little later on, we were quote-unquote admiring this giant canvas that this other artist filled up with red, and there was a slight, um, degradé, whatever the hell's the name of that in English is. Gradient! There we go. Like, from red to slightly darker red. You're allowed to find that pretty. I get it. It was not a pronounced gradient, but I understand wanting a uh, gradient painting for your house to decorate, stuff like that. That was not the problem! The problem was that the other girls in the class were, like, pretty much coming over this painting, okay? Like, they were like, ooh, ah, such talent, such art. And I'm like, I can literally do this in Microsoft Paint. Like, calm your tits. At least with Callan's stuff, you have something to look at. You have several colors to look at. You have the shape, you have something. With this other guy, 
I, I mean, you must understand, I completely forgot, forgot his name, and I'm not really in a hurry to learn it. Like, there was nothing of interest. So, this girl, this girl right here, came up to me and asked me how I enjoyed this beautiful work of art. And I was like, it's red. And then she gets mad at me. And she goes, no, Sharon, you have to really look at it. So I lean into the painting. And I squint. And I focus. And then I turn to her and I said, still red. Then she goes, oh, you don't understand art. I do understand that there's a room back there with 15 planks of pine dyed green. <laughs> what I don't understand is why you girls are getting wet over it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the three guys in the class were pretty much of my opinion and just sitting down and listening to music, waiting for this thing to be over. Me, I'm just expecting the questions on the exam. What do you think the man, the artist, tried to evoke with this line of work? As I was ready to go home art wear paint swatches. I'm not a deep person when it comes to stuff like that. I will sass you. Like, even in stuff I like... I should say art I like, because in stuff I like, I will go in deep details, but in art I like, I'm not gonna try to analyze and try to understand the inner workings of the artist when he painted this or that. Because let me admit, admit real quick, my favorite art uh, painter is uh, Salvador Dali. Oh, the Cuban lady's house. Oh, dear lord. But once again, you had stuff to look at. Like, okay, let's take Rio Pell, for example, because I did go to see Rio Pell's exhibition. And he died, like, not long after I saw the exhibition. Rio Pell started, like, with classic art, a bit like Picasso, really. And what happened with him was that his later art became more and more weird. Like, really weird. But part of it was actually, he had a reason, the poor man was going blind. So a bit like Degas, really, when Degas, uh, in his later work, he would draw ballerinas, he would paint the ballerinas with the tip of his fingers, with his face almost pressed to the canvas, because he couldn't see shit anymore. So he would finger paint. But Rio Pell, what he decided to do in his later work, uh, he would... Get some dead birds. Oh, you know it starts well when I have to include dead birds. <laughs> so what he would do first is he would grab some uh, uh, raquettes. Whatever the hell's the name of that in English right now, it doesn't come to me. And he would airbrush over... Snowshoes, I think? He would brush over the snowshoes to get a texture going on the back. And then he would grab the dead bird. Oh, you know the dead bird had to come back. <laughs> so he would grab the dead bird lay it on the canvas and trace the outline of the bird with glitter glue It's a weird concept. It's a weird idea. But, and that is my point, you have something to look at. Like it was obvious this man was sad that his eyesight was going, 
but he still felt the need to create, and so he did. Oh, you know something is old when it's beige. <laughs> So I was like, I can look at this, therefore, to me, it is art. You're polite, calling it a local curiosity. I call it frickin' cursed. I'm sure that shit was haunted. <laughs> oh, we're almost two and I'm almost done already. That's nice. That's nice. Maybe if I go on the right layer, there we go. Uh, uh, sorry about that. As you can tell by the fact that I do have one friend, I can be nice. But I'm done being nice to people who aren't going to be nice to me. Especially people that like super overreact to stuff I do. Those are the worst. They gave me traumas and anxiety and they can suck my dick. I do not have a dick, but they can still suck it. I'll get myself a bad dragon sampler so you guys can have the t uh, the chance to pick what dick you want to suck. Oh, that really sounds like Cheetah Man. let me finish what I was about to say. I was literally legitimately trying to help.
I believe we're done. Let me check real quick. You know what? I'm gonna change the guy. Because this is supposed to be a boom mic, but it kind of looks like a really flat dick. So... <laughs> There we go, that looks less suspicious. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I believe we're done. We're dingly ding dang dong done. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me check the calendar. Oh, yeah, I believe uh, next week we're going to have a full weekend of live streams. Because next week is going to be the first Saturday of the month. And we all know what that means. Don't answer all at the same time, please. We're going to have the monthly... Uh, Art color challenge from. Oh, that's nice. I forgot the name. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? Universe of Markers! <laughs> Which is a traditional art challenge. It doesn't have to be traditional, but I like to do it traditional. So, of course, uh, keep an eye on my Instagram so you guys can put in your suggestions. Uh, I did have some questions uh, last time because uh, people sometimes they have suggestions as I'm working because oh I know the perfect character to go with this these colors and I'm like nope that's not how this works <laughs> nobody but me knows the colors but because I always pick the same characters that's why I'm asking you guys for suggestions and you don't get to see oh that's okay Paul it's um it's uh, recorded on YouTube, so you can view it at your leisure. And uh, as I was saying, the whole point is uh, you guys suggest me characters. I know the colors, you don't. I don't know what characters you're going to pick, you do. And then it's a challenge. It's a challenge for you, it's a challenge for me, and we all get to watch me struggle with my markers, trying to get the characters to work with the colors I got. So yeah, there's going to be a live stream at 3 p.m. Eastern Time uh, this Saturday. What is the exact date? Uh, September 5th, 2020, at the time of this recording. And of course, the usual 1 p.m. Eastern Time live stream on the following Sunday for the next bootleg cookie. As usual, special thanks to my patrons, Dancy and Paul K. Paul K, which was actually on YouTube today, even if he didn't have time to listen, that is okay. That's why I'm recording. <laughs> Not everybody has time to sit down for an hour listening to me prattle on. <laughs> so yeah, special thanks to you too. Uh, your continued support is highly appreciated. So yeah, I'll see you guys next weekend. I love you all. I hope you had fun watching me draw. I know I had a lot of fun drawing this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.